Mount Etna and the 2026 eruption claim. Are the signs really clear? Or is the internet getting ahead of the science? Mount Etna, towering over eastern Sicily, is no stranger to headlines. As Europe's most active volcano, it erupts frequently, sometimes several times a year. Lava fountains, ash clouds, and glowing flows down its slopes are part of life for the communities that live nearby. But in recent months, a new and far more alarming claim has spread widely on YouTube and social media that Mount Etna is predicted to erupt in early 2026 and that this eruption will trigger a massive landslide into the Mediterranean Sea, potentially causing devastating consequences. Videos describe clear signs, accelerating ground movement, and even compare Etna to ancient volcanoes that collapsed catastrophically in the past. So what does science actually say? Understanding Mount Etna's constant activity, CA. First, it is important to understand one key fact. Mount Etna is almost never truly quiet. Etna sits at a complex boundary between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. Magma rises continuously from deep underground, feeding a vast network of conduits, fractures, and shallow magma reservoirs. Because of this, eruptions at Etna are normal, not exceptional. Lava fountains occur regularly. Ash emissions are common. Small collapses of crater walls happen frequently. Earthquake swarms beneath the volcano are routine. An eruption at Etna in 2026 would not be surprising at all because Etna erupts so often. But that does not mean scientists can predict a specific eruption date, nor does it mean a catastrophic collapse is expected. The signs people point to. Supporters of the 2026 disaster claim often point to several real scientific observations, but they are frequently misinterpreted or exaggerated. One, increased seismic activity. Yes, Etna regularly experiences earthquake swarms. These quakes usually indicate magma movement or adjustments in the volcano's internal structure. However, these swarms happen many times every year. Most do not lead to major eruptions. They are part of Etna's normal behavior. There is no seismic pattern that currently confirms a major eruption is scheduled for early 2026. Ground deformation and uplift. Satellite measurements show that parts of Etna inflate and deflate over time as magma moves underground. This is true and well documented. But again, inflation does not automatically mean collapse. The volcano has inflated many times without catastrophic outcomes. Deformation alone cannot be used to predict a specific future disaster. Etna's flank is slowly sliding toward the sea. This is perhaps the most misunderstood point and the most sensationalized. Scientists have confirmed that Etna's southeastern flank is slowly moving toward the Mediterranean Sea. This movement occurs at a rate of millimeters to centimeters per year. Why is this happening? The volcano is extremely large and heavy. Its structure is built on weaker sediment layers. Gravity naturally pulls the slope outward. Importantly, this movement is slow, measured, and continuous, not sudden. Could Etna collapse into the sea? From a purely geological perspective, large volcanic flank collapses are possible. They have happened elsewhere on Earth, including in prehistoric Sicily. 
but science makes a critical distinction between possibility and prediction. At present, there is no evidence of rapid acceleration toward collapse, no signs of large-scale structural failure, no official warning from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV. Scientists emphasize that a catastrophic landslide would require multiple extreme triggers, such as a massive intrusion of magma, a very large earthquake, rapid structural weakening across a wide area. None of these conditions are currently observed at a level suggesting imminent failure. Why early 2026 is a red flag? One of the biggest warning signs of misinformation is specific timing. Volcanology cannot yet predict eruptions by year or month, especially for volcanoes as complex as Etna. When a claim states, the eruption will happen in early 2026, science asks, what new instrument allows this precision? What unprecedented data confirms this timeline? Why has no official monitoring agency announced it? So far, no peer-reviewed study, monitoring agency, or volcanic alert system has confirmed such a prediction. What scientists actually agree on. Here is what is scientifically supported. Mount Etna will erupt again because it always does. Etna's flanks move slowly due to gravity and structure. Continuous monitoring is essential. Rare, extreme scenarios are studied as long-term hazards. And here is what is not supported. A confirmed eruption date in early 2026. Evidence of imminent flank collapse into the sea. Certainty of tsunami generating landslides. Why these stories spread so easily? Volcanoes combine fear Mystery, spectacular visuals, real scientific uncertainty. When real data is mixed with dramatic language, it can easily turn risk into certainty in the public imagination. Phrases like, the signs are already clear, scientists are hiding the truth, collapse is inevitable, are not how science communicates danger. Science speaks in probabilities, trends, and uncertainty, not countdowns. The real takeaway, Mount Etna deserves attention, not panic. It is one of the best monitored volcanoes on Earth.